Hello. How are you doing? My name is Orlando. Nice to meet you. Some of you know me and maybe all the people who are coming for the first time to my life don't know me. I'm Orlando Coach. Welcome. Welcome to my life today. Today I'm going to show you some um, very important exercise. If you feel your body needs uh, some strengthening, this is the time to strengthen your body. And I'm here to help you, to show you some great exercises that will help strengthen your body. There are maybe one or two exercises, uh, they are a little bit difficult to do it, but I believe if you uh, keep doing and practicing, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. So the first one, we're gonna do an exercise for your lower body, which is uh, goblet squats. Yeah, I, I like this one. This one is great, especially if you're gonna do uh, back squats. It's a great exercise to warm up and then go for your back squats. But we're not doing back squats here, we're gonna do goblet squats. I'm gonna show you the progression, how you do it. Before anything, what you have to do is, um, you have to know how to squat using your own body. So how I do it, if you watch me, if you watch my knees, you see my knees, they go out, so I, I go deeper into my squat. That's what I do. And I go up and squeeze my gluteus, yeah? I lock it, so go down and up. If you can do this, you'll be able to do goblet squats. But there is a progression. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna do 10 reps here, just for you to have an idea. And if you are with me now, if you want to do together, let's exercise together. Otherwise, you can do later, because I will post this live later. So how you go? Down, keep your back straight, your knees go out, and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, you see, I synchronize you with my hands. Six, seven, eight, look at my knees, back straight, nine, and ten. Okay, once you can do this, you're going to be fine. So if you don't know how to do this, practice this one till you say, hey, now I can do body squats. Okay, what's the second one you're going to do is, I'm going to use this dumbbell here, yeah? I've got 10 kilograms. You're going to start doing goblet squats. But if you're not confident to do this way here, holding like this and go down, so there is a progression. How are you going to do it? You see the box here? So I've got this box here to, to start the second phase of these goblet squats. Or if you don't have a box like this, you can use your sofa, you can use your chair. And if you don't have a dumbbell, if you drink at home, you can get a bag of rice, you can get a bottle of water, and that will you do. So, how do I hold it? I hold like this, against my chest, elbows in. What we're gonna do is, you just sit down, back straight, and you push back up. Back straight, and you push back up. Keep watching my knees. My knees go out, like I did with my body weight. Up and down. Let's say I'm gonna do 10 reps here, five, Six, seven, good. Eight, try to keep your back straight as you can. Nine, and 10. Basically, this is what you have to do um, if you're not confident, just standing and holding the weight and going down. How many reps are you gonna do? About 20 reps, I did 10 reps here. But my idea is to show you what you can do being here in the gym or at home. So if you're good with that, the third stage is to hold. Yeah, same idea, standing. Don't forget your knees go out on the way down. Why? You get more depth. Yeah, so you go down and push back up. Try not to push with your, with your knees. Push with your hips. Two, I'm gonna go for a 10. Three, four, five, 
six, have a look at my back, straight. Seven, down, eight, down, nine, and one more, 10. Basically, this is you have to do. So if you don't know how to do goblet squat standing, you start, do your body weight, yeah? Do like 20 reps to you, if you're confident. Second stage, get your sofa or a chair, hold the dumbbell and sit down and stand up, sit down and stand up. And then once you're confident, standing and go up and down. Good job. So second one, second exercise I'm gonna show you. Um, kettlebell. This is 12 kg. This is a great exercise for your hip, for your hamstrings. It does your core, does your shoulders because you swing with it. Um, not difficult to do it, it's okay. You just have to make sure when you're doing, you keep a look, your back straight. Look at my back, you bend the knees a bit. Yes, throw the kettlebell between your legs and go up and go up. Never go, never overstretch like this because if you do that, you can hurt your back. I don't want that for you. So, first exercise, you can do three sets, three sets of 20. If you wanna do more reps, you do. Second one, kettlebell swings. Ah, I don't have a kettlebell. No problem. Bag of rice, we do. You can get a bottle of water. There is, uh, you know, there are some ways you, you know, you can do it. So this time I'm gonna use my kettlebell. So how I pick it up? Nice buck. I throw that between my legs and I power with my hip. So that's the movement to do it. See, I'm not going to squat. Don't go into squat. Bend a little bit and hinge forward for your hip. So let's go. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I'm going to do another 10 for you. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Have a look at my back. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo, make sure when doing this exercise to not bend your back. You see, you get a little bit puffy. Of course, you're exercising. Because if you bend your back, it's not good. You can get problems there. You don't want that. You want your back flat and nice swing. Three sets, three sets of 20. You can go for four sets, but three sets will do, okay? So this is a great exercise for your lower body, for your hip. The third one I'm gonna do, I need to have a look quickly on my note here, yeah. And another thing you shouldn't forget is drink water. Have you just arrived in my life? If you have, we're doing like uh, I'm showing you, teaching you great exercises for your lower body and also for your upper body. Simple exercises that you can do at home or at the gym. Next one, I'm gonna show you an exercise for your upper body is pull over. I've done this exercise before. But I find this exercise great. If you don't have a bench at home, look, you can do on the floor, here. So you just need a mat, okay? So what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use again this uh, dumbbell 10K. And if you don't have um, a dumbbell, again, a bag of rice, anything that you can you can use okay so again if you have just arrived in my life i'm inviting you to exercise your feet if you're not do it later because i'm posting this live late i'm coach Orlando. nice to meet you let's go so how you hold it i hold like this so this is a great exercise for your chest your mid back and your bingo wins yeah go over down and pull it one Two, three, squeeze, four, give a good stretch, five, 
Okay. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh, I'm going to do 15. Ten. Five more. One. Oh, that's a good one. Two. Great. Three. Two more. Two more. Four. And one more. And. Great. Ah. I can feel the stretch in my big wings, my triceps, my chest, and my back. So, better if you have a, a bench because you can have a more range of movement. But if you don't have a bench, you can do on the floor the way I'm doing. So, you're gonna jump onto the next one. Just before you go again, I think I've mentioned before, you can do three sets of 10 reps. And if you feel like you're doing more reps, go for it. So next one you're gonna do is, I just need to have a look at my notes. Without my glasses, I can see, I think. So you're gonna do an exercise for your core. And I like this exercise, it's a side plank. I, I reckon I haven't showed this one yet, but it's a great exercise. Possibly some of you cannot do this exercise. Uh, because you have to be, you have to lie on your elbow and lift. So you're doing a core cool exercise for this bear here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna add something onto this. Look, onto this exercise. On your side, what you have to do is you lift, back straight, hold it, and then with your hand go under, rotate, and up. So you go under and you go up, two, three, I'm gonna do five, and four, and five, good. And you say to me, I cannot do like this, I cannot hold my hip off the ground. Try like this, look, yeah? A little bit like that, look, look at my legs. I was with my legs on top of each other, like that, and try to lift. Usually I do, I do my legs like this. You see my toes? But if, if that's difficult for you, you split. Yeah? So, and there you go. And you go. This exercise, come with me. This exercise you have to practice. It's not easy. That's what I said to you. It's not easy. But the only thing you have to do is keep practicing and you're get, gonna get there. But I'm gonna get one dumbbell here, which is three kilograms. Let's put it this way, up. this is a progression. If you can do what I just showed you with your hand, going underneath your body and up straight, try this one. If you don't have a, a dumbbell, you can get something to hold it, yeah? to put more emphasis into this exercise, yeah? To, put, to stress more your muscle. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my legs on top of each other, hold it, same idea. I lift my hip off the ground, hold it, go under and up. And go down, under, up. You see how much I go under my body, look, look. Under and up. This is a great exercise for your core. Up and down. Up and down. Again, look at my legs. If you cannot do like this, you split the legs. Split the legs, lift, it makes it easier. And go up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Once again, let's go. So basically, it's not easy, but if you can do, start practicing only your hand, underneath your body and go up and straight. Once you can do 12 to 15 reps, switch sides, other side, okay? Not just one side, right? And then you get a kind of weight, whatever you have at home or in the gym you, you will have. And it's a, it's that practicing. You can keep your legs together, one on top of the other, or you just split your legs. See how you go. This is great to do it. 
I make my clients do this exercise. It's tough, yeah? But keep practicing. Last one. I think it is the last one. Um, I need to have a look in my notes here again. Yeah, this one here is um, it's an exercise called Woody Chopper. Um, and just before, um, before I go on to my next one, the previous exercise, go for three sets if you can. If you find too difficult, three sets, because it's going to be three sets on one side and three sets on the other. Do two sets. The idea is like uh, keep building that up slowly. And let me know later how you've done it. So Woody Chopper. Again, this exercise is good if you like playing golf. Yeah, because there is a good drive. Um, and does your core a lot. That's why I decided to, or I've selected this exercise for you today. Today's the last live of the year. Can't believe it. Time flies, isn't it? So, just before I go on to the, um, on to the next one, keep checking in my um, Instagram if you have not subscribed yet to it, because um, there are some exciting things coming in the first and second week of Jan. So, keep checking because I will be doing, um, um, sending you notifications on my stories, on my feed. So, great things coming for next year. Keep checking in. So let's go. Next one, I've decided to get this, um, this bow here. It's a five kilograms, yeah. Uh, again, again, if you at home, you don't have any, any of these apparatus here, you can get a, a bag of rice, a bottle of water, anything. Yeah, as long as you do it. Okay, shall we go? So how you do it? Look, I go, on the sides and I drive up one two I'm gonna go for 10 reps three I like this one four five six you see my knee I bend a little bit seven and then go outside eight nine ten I'm gonna go for 12 that's the last set one two that's good other side now this is how I start. Nice back. Yeah, swing up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to go for 12. Eight, nine, ten. Two more. Eleven and twelve. Basically, you can mimic. If you don't have anything, you go like uh, one, two, and so on. Um, quick water. So how many exercises today? One, two, three, four, five exercises. So it's only coming to 20 minutes of this live. Um, so that's why I've, I've called you on my stories since yesterday. Come to this live, do the exercises with me because you need to strengthen your body. Yeah, once you're in your mid thirties upwards, you have to do exercises to strengthen and to feel stronger. Yeah, and to, especially your lower body and upper body. When you're walking, you feel your stride, you're walking strong. You're not like a walking, like a whatever it is. Um, that happens if you're not exercising, if you're not being active, you're losing everything. So basically, don't forget to keep checking in my stories. Next year, I've got exciting things coming. Yeah, um, I'm not telling you right now, but if you keep checking, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying here now. Um, before just we finish everything off here, I just would like to, to wish you uh, Merry Christmas, I told you at the beginning of this week. Hope you had a, a great Christmas, but a great new year. 2023 is coming, it's coming fast. Next week is 2023, and uh, God bless you. Happy New Year, and I will post this live right after I stop here. Take care, take care, take care, God bless you, bye.